Hey guys, we just got back from the theater after watching Power Rangers. Sorry for the, like the one day delay from the premiere, but we finally were able to get good seats with it. So and we saw it and well, obviously we seemed pretty excited, but is it a go-go or a no-no? We shall see. Okay, so starting off, um, we were probably, this is probably like the most hyped film we were ready for so far this year. Yeah, so far. For, pretty much, yeah, and like, you have to understand, this is both comes from, we're playing, this, this is playing on our nostalgia, both our nostalgia from our childhood, okay, so yes. if, as we go through this review, we're gonna probably seem somewhat biased, but we're gonna give a fair assessment for all things considered, as far as all the types of audiences that will go and see there, that would go and see this movie. Now, okay, first to start off, just kind of like a disclaimer, we saw this, you know, kind of late at night, nine o'clock, and one of the things we noticed is that as far as the general viewing audience, it's like people our age, people who grew up with this. Yeah. And so I feel like as far as the audience it's trying to capture or see, it's really appealing a lot to the old um, viewership from like the 90s. Wouldn't you think so? Definitely. Definitely. I mean like there are certain things that may, that as far as if they're trying to bring in new audiences, yeah I could fairly see, I could see that, that may be a thing, but if I had to generally kind of, if I had to give like a general consensus um, it, about the movie and without giving that, without going too much detail, if y'all didn't want, don't want to watch this whole thing, I totally understand. But here's the, here's how I would see Power Rangers 2017. If you are a fan of the original series, you will like this movie. If you were somewhat aware of Power Rangers and maybe saw a few episodes back in the 90s, you will like this movie. If you had nothing to do with Power Rangers your entire life, you may be like, oh, okay. It's kind of his corny spots, but it's, otherwise it's still a good movie. Yeah, and that's the thing about, because, uh, like, obviously the original show was super, super cheesy. <laughs> and we and we get that, and that's what Power Rangers has always been, okay? Now, I like how they changed up a few things as far as uh, the feel of this movie. It, it definitely feels uh, darker and grittier in a lot of spots. and but then it, But then as the movie progresses, it really embraces its old cheesy style, I guess you could say. I don't really know if I can compare this to any movie, any other movie that's out there right now to give y'all kind of like a... a, a give y'all an analogy to anything, but there's both a mix of like serious, corny, cheesy, and cool stuff, I guess you can say. Yeah. Um, but if you're like not into all that weird cheesiness, I don't know how you would feel about this movie. You may think of it as like, okay, fair film, but like yeah. if you're a super diehard fan, I think you will like this movie. So what, like, so what do you think? Well, uh, I mean like, okay, so basically it's got good graphics. I mean, the, the yeah. This is fi this is finally Power Rangers with a budget. You know, fi the first time we can see a fully realized Power Rangers movie with money behind it, and yeah. it looks it looks good. Yeah. Um. What else? Um. They did a really good job with backstory. I really enjoyed the backstories. They've actually been able to learn about how the Power Rangers came. At least the 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 Zordon era and where Zordon come from, and you know. That was really great. I really enjoyed that. Because that's not something that the original series lets you know. It just kind of opened up with, there's the existence of Zordon and Power Rangers, Rita opens up this little can You know, the original series did not talk about any of that. It just kind of shot right into it. Yeah, it, 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 it throws in as far as, um, I mean, stuff that the original series just kind of were looked at adds more to it. So as far as the nostalgia from the original series coming into this movie, for me, that was a huge bias. I mean, naturally going into it, it didn't matter how good or bad the movie was, I was going to like it because it's Power Rangers. So what did you feel as far as, did you have that same effect when you went in? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, as what I've, as, that's basically what I'm trying to say is if you're a fan of the original Power Rangers, you will like this movie because it's operating on your nostalgia. Now, you're going to watch it being able to separate, I mean, you'll acknowledge where the... The, where the where the, you're you're gonna you're going to acknowledge where the film itself may have some weaker moments as far as just how it does some of its general storytelling. I mean, come on, some of the it, inherently Power Rangers itself is 
you know, ridiculous, but in a fun, in a fun way, I guess right. you can say. Like, well, and they did a really good job incorporating that funny comedy in with Bill. Well, I mean, like, there was a lot of good comedy. Like, I mean, as far as like, okay, as far as out of the five, as five, five members of the team, there was a lot of focus I felt on. Um, Billy, Jason, and Kimberly. I mean, Zach and Trini had their moments, but I mean, like as far as who was who, who kind of stole the show in a sense was Billy, and Jason and Kimberly. And as far as yeah. how they were those kind of three that pushed the group forward. Now, I guess with time, they'll do a little bit more on Zach and Trini with with it. But um, it's it may feel like it's kind of just compopulated in that way, but. Yeah, as far as, you know, like, the humor in this movie is good, I yeah. would say. It's, it comes from a place of acknowledging both the silliness and ridiculous of the past, but then make integrating it with something that feels how teenagers may kind of behave in this situation. Uh, with Billy, since he's, like, the comic relief, the whole... His whole story aspect felt like it warranted him to kind of... I felt like, at least at first, Billy was... A, a threat to be annoying, maybe at first, but then he kind of, he grew on me. At least that's kind of how I felt. Um, he reminded me of Sheldon. Like he, if you, Big Bang Theory. yeah, that's he, he. That was kind of one thing we noticed. He's a lot like Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. If you've watched that show at all, he's very much kind of very not a social person. Doesn't know what bounds not to cross. He's very much a nerd, geek, intellig intelligent person. Mm. Um, and he needs a little bit of help from his friends as far as getting past his, his I guess his, 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 his barrier. And that's kind of the thing that's all of them have to do. It's kind of like one of the plot lines they have to focus on is all five of them acknowledging um, something bad about themselves in order to kind of Bring, in order to work as a team more efficiently. Um, and well, I mean, they effectively broke down what the essence of a team is. Yeah. And that's what the, the you know, probably good half of the movie was even about, was just them coming together as a team and learning how to work together. Yeah. Now, Elizabeth Bang says Rita Repulsa. <laughs> now, a lot of people... They couldn't have picked a better person. Well, okay, he he liked her, and I like Elizabeth Bangs. Um, now... I I thought it was great, you know. I'm I thought it was I thought she did fine as far as just as far as matching how the feel of the movie was going. Now I kind of acknowledged this and told him about this about how a lot of people felt like Elizabeth Banks was really pushing the. She was kind of overacting in a sense as far as trying to be like an old the over the, how over the top Rita was in the '90s show. Right, but. The, but then at the same time, people thought it felt like it was discombobulated with the the theme and like the mood as far as how some of the parts in the movie were. Like it's meant to be more serious, and then she's all like, "Power Rangers, I'm gonna build my golden monster." Like she's really trying to sell it, maybe too strongly at some points. But, but it's I, the whole point. The original series, read it in the original series, was that way. She yeah. was way over the top. The actress overacted because it was the corniness of it. But you thought, but you thought, nostalgia. but you thought it was enough in that sense. She that re, that Elizabeth Elizabeth thinks made it her own. Yeah, you did. Even though well, she okay, was trying so to be like she, she pulled she pulled essence from the original actress's character, uh -huh. and she mended it with her own spin, which is what any good actor or actresses will do yeah. in any role. I mean, look at Harry Potter. Look at Emma Watson. I mean. She made Hermione. She, if they had replaced her in mid movies, they're well, no sure. Way. Same thing with Dumbledore when they did that with him after the second movie and the original character died. Totally threw off the entire dynamic because that character brought in that essence of themselves with the original character, the way it's portrayed in the story. Well, like I, I can see that, but I'm just saying, like if we're doing basically a reboot, a remake of Power Rangers. Well, that's... You need, you need to acknowledge where it came from, but at the same time, you're taking it in a new direction. So Rita, yeah. people were complaining that Elizabeth Banks was not trying to do anything unique with the character. Well, no, she made her more sinister. She made her more vile. Well, the, the her design and just her, you know, the things she did in the movie did obviously make her more sinister. I kind of vibe from her that she was sinister and evil. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess she successfully portrayed the character to me. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, uh, you probably you will not. Fans of the show will probably will not have a problem with her, 
But people who had nothing to do well, with Power Rangers never watched the show are probably going to feel like, oh my god, she's really pushing. Maybe over pushing a little bit. That's but just, the same thing can be said about the original actress in the series. I know, but pe- <laughs> that's just a certain type of audience that isn't going to... Okay, well, okay, well, let's go beyond the series and go to the movies. The 95 movie. Let's... I mean, look at the overacting and cheesiness in that. But movie. that's what. But that's, that's what, what the show was. Exactly. That's what the show was. This is something new. With a spin and a twist on it. I okay. mean. Okay. Come okay. On, okay. Not like... okay. 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 I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right. So, as, let's also. I want to something I kind of noticed. Um, I don't know about you because this, this this is the first. It's heavily implied there's going to be more movies, okay? But th- since this is the first, I don't know if some new audiences are going to feel like it takes way too long for them to actually be the Power Rangers. That's that's a that's a tricky line in any movie. Yeah. The the character development, how long to take it, the timing to get it successfully one hundred percent right is really hard. Yeah. They ne- but they needed to do that though. They had to have the general character development before you have essentially the basically the climax of the film where they do actually become the Power Rangers and they're wearing the suits and they're going around kicking ass. Right. That may feel like it was a short lived moment or it took long for them to get a long time for them to get there. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, it depends. It necessary it, for it's a way. very subjective feeling. You may feel like it would took too long for them to get there and then when it actually does happen it feels kinda of anti climactic in a way maybe. I, just, I don't know. I thought they did a really good job. I mean, as far as the the story layout, the timing of it. I mean, yeah, it it took you know quite a bit for them to get into the the, the Morphin Power Rangers, yeah. but they were becoming the Power Rangers throughout the process. Now, as far as, yeah, it's in the process, but then also in the middle that when they do actually like okay, if it's if we're coming from a place of realism, how would it really be? How what would really happen if five teenagers actually did stumble across this sixty-five million year old ship that's in the ground, and then it's some I'd robots appear? Freaking out! I know they'd be freaking <laughs> out, but then it's like they just accept what Zordon tells them. They just accept. Well, it. you know, when you have this giant talking wall inside the spaceship that you know obviously is way more advanced than anything we got, and you got this little you know android robot running around just talking away, going I, 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 you know, and then. You have all these new powers where you can break a sink with your squeeze well, of your wrist, or you jump across King. Yeah, I probably would listen to the wall. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess I could see that. Some people may feel like that was a little bit. Some people may feel like that may feel like weird. Well, as far and as some just people like people are just being overly critical to make themselves known. I know. I'm trying to account for anyone who's going to go see this movie. I don't know. Well, it's... just go into it with an open mind. Exactly. I mean, that's. The thing about any sci-fi movie and any person that loves sci-fi, they have to have an open mind. They know this from the get-go. So, you know, whenever something happens that you don't really know if it really could happen, you're just like, you accept it because you have that open mind. Whereas somebody that's going to be overly critical is going to be oh, that can't happen. That, 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 that'll never happen. That's not real. Right. You know, just finding something to nitpick. Right. Okay. I totally, I mean, I totally get that. So, basically, in summary, I'll repeat it again. Power Rangers is going to be good to those who are fans, those who are at least slightly or very familiar with the show, and it may be just be kind of, uh, for people who had nothing, who have no idea what Power Rangers is, maybe. It's maybe how I'll see how, see how this movie will be okay. for most general audiences. I don't know. I mean, if you, I know what, I know what you would say if we had to give it a score, what would you, what would you give it? Based totally off of nostalgic reasons. A. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, total 10 out of 10 because based off nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be like... It, it could do no wrong in my eyes. <laughs> I see, okay. I mean, fairly speaking, 7.5 out of 10. And I'm trying to account for people who have no bias at all to give to this franchise. I still give it a 10. I know you... <laughs> And, and last thing, it is important for you to try and keep eyes out for certain throwbacks they'll have. Oh, yeah. And uh, certain throwbacks as far as the original series. And there is a mid credit scene. Yeah. And that's all I will yeah. say. Yeah. You, so, you definitely got to pay attention to about the first 10 minutes of the credits. Yeah, the first 10 Five, minutes. Five, 10 minutes. They're, they're, it's important information. Again, if you have no idea what Power Rangers is, it pro- what Power Rangers is, it won't make sense to Go you. Go watch the show. Get some backstory. 
But if you do know what Power Rangers is, you're like, oh my gosh, when are they going to bring this up? And then they finally do. Again, and then not going to not going to spoil anything, but okay. So yeah, um, yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed it, guys, and hopefully, maybe there'll be Power Rangers two next year. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how Hollywood. Let's we'll see how Hollywood reacts to it. Anyway, thanks, guys. We'll see you again soon.